I am so pretty. Ganda ko lang. Ganda ko dito sa ano ko, video ko. The makeup is so well done. Well, steak. <laughs> steak a girl, well done. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Suzanne and welcome back to Z Talks. In this video, we'll talk about a very common type of investment which is mutual fund. Sa sobrang common itong investment na to, still, there are a lot of people na hindi pa rin siya masyadong naiintindihan what it is and how it works. So in this video, we'll talk about that. We'll run through what mutual funds are and I'll talk a little bit about UITF. How are they the same and how are they different and I'll also talk about different types ng mutual funds and ano yung best for you. I'll also talk about why should you consider investing in mutual funds or why should you not? Where to go when you want to invest in mutual funds? What are the platforms available? What are mutual funds and UITFs? Basically, yung mutual fund and UITFs are similar because they are just structured the same. In principle, kung mamimili ka, technically, medyo same lang silang dalawa. I hope that's clear. MF, UITF, in principle, pareho lang. Mutual funds and UITFs are pooled funds. Ang pooled funds, these are type of investments wherein people or investors pool their money together in one fund and yung fund na yon, it is then handled by a fund manager and yung fund manager na yon will then invest that pooled money into different types of investments and securities and in return, it will give us gains. Mutual funds and UITFs are similar but they are not identical. What makes them differ from one another? Ano yung pinagkaiba nila? Let's go! I will just focus on the main difference ng MF and ng UITF. Main difference number one would be the issuer. For mutual funds, ang negation ng mutual funds are mutual fund companies or investment companies. Examples of that would be Sun Life Asset Management Company Inc. or Slam C. So we also have Phil Equity, my family, and there are other investment companies out there. For the UITF naman, ang issuer ng UITF would be Trust Department of Banks. Technically, nanggagaling ang UITF sa mga banko. So examples of that would be BPO, BPI, Security Bank, and generally all banks, they have their own UITFs. Main difference number two would be the regulating body. Who regulates mutual funds and UITFs? The regulating body for mutual funds is the Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC. And for UITFs, the regulating body is the BSP or the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Main difference number three, who distributes them to the public? For mutual funds, there is this SEC License Distribution Company or a CIS, which is a Certified Investment Solicitor. And for UITFs naman, there are bank accredited sales frontliners who distributes UITFs. Now, let's go to the types of mutual funds. There are basically four types of mutual funds based kung saan sila primarily naka-invest. Number one would be money market fund. Two would be bond fund. Three, stock fund or equity fund. And four would be balance fund. Isa-isahin natin silang lahat. Number one would be money market fund. Money market funds are primarily invested in special savings accounts and short-term debt securities like mga time deposits or deposit accounts. Ang kagandahan kasi sa money market fund or in mutual funds in general, mas nagkakaroon tayo ng higher rates. We get better rates kasi we pull our money together. So, mas malaki yung capital natin. So, this is best for those people looking for a place to park their money na gagamitin nila in the short term. Yung gagamitin na within a year or less than a year. Pero kahit pa paano, gusto pa rin nilang kumita higher than a savings account. Low risk ang money market. Number two is 
the bond fund. So, as the name suggests, primarily bond funds are invested in bonds, which are fixed income securities. For those who do not know what bonds are, bonds are long-term debt securities wherein nagpapautang tayo ng isang party. For example, kung ang pinapautang natin ay companies, we are invested in corporate bonds. Kapag ka naman ang pinapautang natin ay gobyerno, we are investing in government bonds. Government bonds are more commonly known as mga treasury bills or treasury notes. For you to be able to get and invest into bonds, most of them, medyo malaki yung capital. Bonds are best for those people na naghahanap ng investment na hindi masyadong risky but gusto ng medyo decent yung returns higher than a money market fund or a regular savings account. You can go for bond funds. The third type of mutual fund is a stock fund or more commonly known as the equity fund. Equity fund, it is primarily invested in shares of stocks or in the stock market. Yung fund manager mo doon will then decide kung kailan siya bibili ng stocks, kailan niya ibibenta, kung ano yung gagawin niya. And generally, it offers higher returns over a long period of time. Equity funds are best for those people who want high returns na may high risk tolerance din. Because equity fund is a high risk investment. The fourth type of mutual funds is a balanced fund. Balanced fund primarily invested siya in both shares of stocks and debt instruments. So they are combined in one fund. Balance fund is like a combination of a bond fund and an equity fund. Balance fund. Balance funds are best for those people na gusto magkaroon ng exposure sa stock market because they want to take advantage of the high returns. But at the same time, ayaw nilang ilagay doon lahat ng pera nila because alam nilang volatile. So, they want a combination of having a debt security or a fixed income security. One of the common questions na nare-receive ko is that, Sane, anong difference ng equity fund sa index fund? I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Index fund is just a type or a special type of equity fund. Yun lang. <laughs> Index fund is a specialized type of equity fund wherein naka-invest lang lahat ng stocks mo doon sa stocks that are included in the index or the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Yung laman ng index are the top 30 companies or well-traded stocks in the Philippines. It's important to know the index or the PSEI because it shows kung ano yung direction or yung health ng overall stock market natin in the Philippines because the index is a good representation of where the stock market is going. It's like a market barometer. It shows the sentiments ng mga tao or even the general economy of the Philippines. So that's the index. Know the index daily. Be updated. Paano ka kumikita sa mutual funds? Basically, it is just price appreciation. You buy low and you sell high. The price in mutual fund is called the NAVPS or the Net Asset Value Per Share. And for UITF, it's NAVPU or NAVPU which is Net Asset Value Per Unit. For example, you have 1,000 pesos and bumili ka ng mutual fund which the NAVPS is 10 peso per share, you will have 100 shares. That's today. And let's say after 3 months from 10 pesos, naging 30 pesos siya. Technically, kumita ka ng 300 pesos because you have 100 shares and lumaki yung price by 3 pesos. So you have 300 pesos. Now, why should you consider investing in mutual funds? Number one is diversification. So don't put your eggs, all your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Mga itlog. Diba sabi nga, don't put all your eggs in one basket. When you buy a mutual fund, instantly diversified na agad yung pera mo. Kahit malit pa lang yung capital mo. You are reducing the risk because generally, you have a diversified portfolio. Parang may pikit na ako doon. Atok na ako. May pikit na ako doon. Parang nakaiglip ako doon ng very briefly. <laughs> Nasisilaw kasi ako eh. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. 
Number two, it's affordable because you need low capital requirements. Kahit wala kang capital, you can start investing in mutual funds for as low as 1,000 pesos. Because if you will invest directly to stocks or bonds, you might need a substantial amount of money. Number three, professionally managed. Yung pera mo, it is handled by professional fund managers na yun lang talaga yung trabaho nila. To focus in handling your investment. So they do all the technical analysis, fundamental analysis. Kung wala kang time to handle all your diversified portfolio, just go and invest. Get a mutual fund. Now, why should you not consider investing in mutual funds? Number one, if you want to have full control of your money. Gusto mo ikaw yung magde-decide kung kailan ka bibili, kung saan ka bibili, kailan mo siya ibibenta. Don't invest in mutual funds if you want full control. Number two, if you have the time to monitor all your investments. Lalo na if this is your full-time job to invest in the stock market or invest in the capital market, then don't go for mutual funds kasi may time ka naman to do your own research. Number three is that if you have the capital to invest directly and gusto mong malesen yung fees na binabayaran mo because you don't want to pay for additional fees na ibabayad sa fund manager because gusto mo ikaw na yung mag-handle ng pera mo. Don't invest in mutual funds kung ganun. Where to go if you want to invest in mutual funds? You can go directly to mutual fund or investment companies like Sun Life, Phil Equity, First Metrosec, and other investment companies out there. Number two, you can check your brokers like Call Financial and First Metrosec kasi doon you can buy many types of mutual funds kasi para siyang palengke. Grocery. <laughs> grocery. Para siyang grocery ng mutual funds. So you can choose from a wide array of mutual funds there. Lastly, you can look for capital market professionals. So find a CIS or a Certified Investment Solicitor. Kung gusto mo ng human interaction and gusto mo ng help to decide on which fund you should use and gusto mo ng tao talaga yung mag-assist sa'yo. You're looking at one right now. <laughs> look for a capital market professional or a CIS. Like... The person you're looking into it right now. It's me. It's me. I'm a certified investment solicitor. Now na alam mo na lahat ng information na yon to help you decide to choose kung ano yung best mutual fund for you. Answer these three questions. Number one is what do you want to achieve in that investment? Ano yung goal mo? Number two is how long are you willing to stay invested? Gaano mo siya kahaba ikikip? And then number three would be what is your risk appetite? How much risk you can take? Ako, I tried investing in bonds. UITFs, individual stocks, and mutual funds. Pero personally, mas prefer ko na mag-invest in mutual funds kasi number one, malit yung capital niya and mas less hassle, less stress, less monitoring kasi alam ko na a professional fund manager handles my money for me. I can sleep soundly at night. Some of you may ask, na so Zayn, ano ba yung pinaka maganda dyan? Ano yung pinaka the best? Gusto ko yung pinaka the best. To answer you, wala namang one lang na pinaka the best or pinaka maganda. Again, the best investments are those investments that will fit you the best. And definitely, the ones that will bring you closer to your financial goals. So that's the best investment. Yes! If you want to learn more ways to grow and protect your money and start investing in mutual funds, send me a message and let's talk about it. See you in my next video. Bye! Energy! Okay, okay, goodbye! I'm so pretty, I'm so energetic, high energy, high performing individual. Bye!